C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, G, C. So we've got from C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, G, C. So we've got from C to C, in all those progressions, just by moving uh, our patterns in a close gamified like pattern sequence. What this is gonna do from a creative fundamental perspective is gonna blow open your chord progression. Most players, well, not, I won't say most, but a lot of players just know their chord bar chords here and open chords. And they don't know that, you know, there's, there's all these shapes of, all these shapes around the neck which are all interjoined together. Um, as you start to look at these shapes and you start to get them into your fingers, whatever, you start to I come up with ideas and riffs, but you actually start to know what the chords are. Why this is important is a lot of my students and people are asking me, how do I break out of scales? And we're gonna go into this a little bit later, but once you start to get some of these shapes under your fingers, start to actually start to she shapes and then you can actually play around with the chords and you're actually arpeggiating the chords in amongst your scales as it starts to sound a lot more liquid and blah 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 so but again we'll get into a much cooler and more advanced sounding thing of that but this is the core fundamental that you need to know you need to sort of understand where these chords are because it's more than the chords it's going to end up being part of your solos part of your scale technique oh your actual your soloing your arpeggiation it's much more than chords but it's great to know because it teaches you the fingerboard. So, cycle of fourths in triads in close positions. Once you've got the first ones down, C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, G, C. Start again, C, F, start from that shape. C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, uh, B, B, E, A, D, G, C, so on, so on, and then start on this one up here. C, uh, C, F, right? Uh, uh, B flat, E flat, A flat, uh, D flat, G flat, so on, so on, so on. But you can actually just be able to see it quickly and get it under your fingers. It's going to absolutely explode your playing if you can get used to these triads. Uh, from there on in, we'll then we'll start looking at we'll start looking at the arpeggio. So from these are just arpeggios of that shape. C. Blah, blah, blah. F, B flat, E flat, A flat. I'm just playing the arpeggios. But you can actually start to. Start to get it under your fingers. Go forth and kick butt. <laughs> kick ass. Thanks for joining me.